I get really emotional, especially right now, because we're all here. We have the dams removed. And now we get to go out there and we get to do our best doing the restoration work. This is the most meaningful work that we can possibly do right now. My name is Dave Kaufman. I work for Resource Environmental Solutions. I'm our director of Northern California and Southern Oregon operations. And we're standing here overlooking the former Iron Gate Reservoir. This is the Klamath River in the background. Exposed for the first time in over 60 years following the removal of Iron Gate Dam last year, uh, which was part of the world's largest dam removal and river restoration project. Removing these dams opened up over 450 miles of anadromous habitat. The watershed itself is over 15,000 square miles. That's larger than the state of Maryland. My name is uh, William Bowers. I'm a superintendent for RES. I'm also a Yurok tribal member, and today is a huge day for the Klamath River. Everybody fought for this moment on the Klamath and to be able to do this restoration work. As a Native American, our beliefs are to take care of this land. We got the dam removal out, and now we're here doing the restoration for our salmon. Today we started mobilizing uh, heavy construction equipment to do restoration on a couple of tributaries just downstream from here. We're working on actual in-water stream restoration to promote channel floodplain connectivity, which reduces uh, erosive forces of flowing water in these streams and tributaries, and we'll be providing habitat for returning adult Chinook salmon this fall, uh, steelhead, and coho salmon that will make use of those tributaries throughout their life cycles. What's really special about this project is we're not just restoring a river and we're not just restoring fish, we're restoring people. We're standing now on a piece of ground that the state of California is deeding to the Shasta Indian Nation. We met with the governor of California in June of 2024 and he committed um, to returning the land to us. And that was a huge day. <laughs> I think it's important and it's necessary for people to understand there was a very vibrant, um, you know, deeply spiritual community before the dams were built. And so for us, this is uh, coming home, right? It's um, reclaiming and reconnecting to the area that we're from. I mean, we belong here. We're the original stewards of this land. So it's only appropriate that the lands return to us and that we continue that legacy of stewardship. Congratulations, it's beautiful. I don't really know that there's a word that captures it. It's pretty cool. <laughs> my family, they always taught me to fight for what you believe in, you know. My Uncle Ray, he fought for our fishing rights. My sister, she fought for getting the dams out, you know. And I can't wait for that moment when my kids' kids are benefiting from this work that we're doing right now.